Hello and welcome St. Amelia's Parish community. As you prepare for your first reconciliation today, we uh, invite you to watch this video we're gonna put on for you that will take you through the process of going to confession, to watch it be done once and prepare yourselves to, to do the same as, uh, as you prepare for this great time of coming to the sacrament of healing and of forgiveness, of saying I'm sorry to God and of uh, accepting his merciful love for us. So let's see how we do it. Okay, today we're gonna to go through what it looks like to go to confession. My name is Father Peter, for those of you who might not know me, and this is Jeffrey Donovan. Jeffrey Donovan, our seminarian. I'll be the part of the priest today, and Mr. Donovan will be the penitent, which is what you will all be soon enough. Okay, I'm gonna go in the confessional and get ready and uh, let Mr. Donovan talk to you about what happens in preparation for receiving the sacrament of reconciliation. So as I'm waiting in line to go to confession, I've already sat down and contemplated a little bit, thinking about the things I've done wrong, that I'm going to confess to God and tell him that I'm sorry for. And while having those in mind, I also have my act of contrition in mind as well, where I'm going to tell God at the end of my confession that I'm sorry for what I have done and that I will try my very best not to do them again. So now that I'm ready to go to confession, I'm going to head into the confessional and see Father. Now, for your class, we'll be doing it in the body of the church because of COVID restrictions. But normally, when we're in a confessional, we have the option to either kneel on a screen side here, or we can go face to face in a chair with Father and have it more conversational. I'm going to choose to do that today. So at this point, I'm going to begin my confession, and the proper way to do so is in everything that we do, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. And I'm going to tell Father, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. And I'm going to tell him how long it's been since my last confession. But for most of you, you'll just tell him that you're first. And then after we do that, we're going to go ahead and tell him the things we thought about earlier that we are sorry for offending God with. So. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been X amount of time since my last confession. And since then, you know, I uh, cheated on my math test. Um, my uh, parents were, were telling me to stay on top of my chores, and uh, I, I really didn't. I, I just kind of got mad at them maybe a little bit, and maybe raised my voice to them. And, and then, you know, messing around with the siblings. We got a little rough housing and I ended up hitting one of my, my brothers and hurting him a little bit. And, um, just these things and uh, anything else I might have hurt God with. At this point, as the priest, <clears throat> I will either give you some kind of, of, of counsel or, or some advice that I might have thought of or I might just go right into giving you a penance. Jeff, thank you for coming in today. Thank you for uh, a good and honest confession. Um, as you know, it's important to, to love your parents and to respect them, to obey them, and to, uh, to try not to hurt others whenever we're, we're playing with them. But I think most importantly, it's important to have that, that, that attitude of saying, I'm sorry for whenever we do these things to the people we hurt. Then I will assign a penance, which is a set of prayers or actions that, that, that the penitent, that you, will be expected to do once you leave the confessional. Jeff, today, if you could just pray uh, three Hail Marys for me, would that be all right? Now I'll ask the penitent to say his act of contrition. Jeff, could you please say your act of contrition? Sure. And if you don't remember one, we'll have one for you. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart, in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you, whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend, with your help, to do penance, to sin no more, and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. At this point, the priest, myself, I will give absolution, which is the forgiveness of sins. There's kind of a, a long introduction to this, but I will raise my hand. This is not an opportunity for a high five for all of you who might think so. But I'll raise my hand in the sign of blessing and say these words over the penitent, over you, 
and, uh, and, and, and so God, the Father, of mercies to the death and resurrection of his Son, reconciled the world to himself, and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may he grant you pardon and grant you pardon and peace, and I absolve you from your sins, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's important to know this too. As I make the sign of the cross over you, you can also make the sign of the cross over yourselves, as, as Jeff has showed us. Now, at this point, the confession is basically over. You've been forgiven of your sins. You've been reconciled with God. And I will say to you then, go in peace. Thanks be to God. And it's time to, to move out of the confessional. <laughs> Now that I've done my confession, it's time for me to do my penance, which we should do as soon as we can. So I'm going to go ahead and kneel down here in the church and do those three Hail Marys to really show that I am sorry. Well, guys, that's it. It's uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. It should not be a, a scary thing, as you saw today with Mr. Donovan coming into confession to, to me, as you saw on the screen. Um, not, not a very intimidating moment, just a simple exchange of, of the things we're sorry for and receiving the forgiveness of the Lord. Um, of course, as we know, as we learned, that the, the priest, myself, I can never tell anybody about what you tell me in the confession. It's a total and absolute, complete secret. So you can say anything that you are truly sorry for, no matter how embarrassing, no matter how bad you feel about it, because you know that the priest can never tell anyone. It's called the seal of confession. It is the absolute secret that the priest must have when hearing your word. So please, look, I look forward to seeing you soon and, and forgiving some of your sins. And uh, we thank you very much for watching this video and for our participation of Mr. Jeff Donovan.